you are welcome to my channel in this video we want to construct an ellipse parabola and hyperbola that has a common focus and the question goes like this it says an ellipse parabola hyperbola have a common focus 40 millimeter from the directories draw all three curves if the eccentricity of the ellipse is 2 over 3 and of the hyperbola 3 over 2 like i always say the first thing you do is to draw your vertical line which will be representing the directories right having in mind that we are using locus method we are using what locus method to construct a parabola hyperbola and an ellipse so that is why we are drawing our vertical line first then the next thing we are going to do is to draw the horizontal line this way you can see that so we have that now this point let's call it point p where the vertical that is the directories and the horizontal line meets we we'll call it what point p and they're always perpendicular to each other now the first thing we would like to construct is we are now told that the distance of the focus from the directories is what it's 40 millimeters so i'm going to measure 40 millimeter from zero to four is 40 millimeter that will be my focus that will be my what my focus f so 40 millimeter away from the directories now the next thing you do is we want to construct we need the vertex now for vertex to get the vertex of an ellipse we need the eccentricity of the ellipse since the measurement is not given and the eccentricity of an ellipse is given to be 2 over 3 and 2 over 3 if you add the 2 plus the 3 we have in 5 so you are going to divide this line into 5 you can use your line division method or you can use your ruler right well for the benefit of knowledge if you want to know how to use the line division method to divide the line into into equal parts you click on this link at the top right corner of the screen here right or you just use your rule since you can divide 40 by 5 and you'll be having 8 millimeter each and you're going to divide this into 8 millimeter each right so let's do that so if i should move from 0 to this line here this is 8 you can see that i move again the next one should be what 16 the next one should be what 24 that should be what 32 then we have what 40 so i have divided this line into five why am i dividing into five because of what the surface of a parabola of a of an ellipse is two over three when you add the two all over three we have in five now i will now name them this will be zero right this will be one two so I will move at 2 here. So this will not be my vertex. Point 2 will be my what? My vertex. Because it is what? 2 over 3. So point 2 will be my what? Vertex. So on that vertex, I'm going to draw a vertical line this way. On the vertex. You can see that? So where they meet at this point, I will now take my compass, place it from V, the vertex, to the focus, right? I will mark up and I will mark down. You can see that? Now I will now take my rule, I will now draw a line from point P through the point I marked here. You 
I see that I can make it as long as I want to. Then I'll come here also. I'm going to do the same thing here. This should be faint line that we're using. 1.3 also. Same thing will happen. Now the next thing is we have gotten the vertex right so we start counting from here so I can use my compass and I'll measure using the same measurement as either number one and F right and I'll keep going this is one and F the next one will be 0.3 0.4 Point six, point seven, point eight, point nine, point ten, eleven. Let me just stop at twelve first. Then I'm going to take my C square and my meter rule. This will be one. This is two. This is three, four, five. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and what twelve. I'm going to draw my line through those points. This way. So this is what we have here. So the next thing I'm going to do is from point one to this point where they meet, right? Probably at the vertex, at the focus. I'll cut up and down of line one. From point two is already there. I'll just maintain my point two. For point three, I'll take it to the highest line here. I'll place that if at what the focus I'll mark on three up and down. From point four, take it at that top here. I'll place at the focus. I'll mark on four up and down. Right? I'll come to five. Take it at that point here. Bring it to the focus, mark on 5, up, and what? And down. Press it at 6 here. Take it up here on the line of 6. You can see that? Take it to the focus, mark on 6, up, and down. Then come to 7, also. Take it up there, place that focus, mark on 7, up and down, come to it, take it up, place that focus, mark on it, up and down, come to 9, take it up here, Come to the focus, mark on 9, up and down, come to 10, take it up here, take at the focus, mark on 10, up and down, come to 11, take it up here, place it on the focus, Mark on eleven up and down. Right? Come to twelve. Take it up here. Right? Place it at the focus. Mark on twelve. Up and down. Just the other point there. So this is twelve here. 
the only point I need is this all these points here where they meet that will be where I'm going to be connecting you can see that this is all the points I will be connecting so with the help of my French curve I'm going to connect those points Yes, can do this up and do this down too. See that then turn it here too. Do you got this? I see that turn it here. Do the same thing. So this is the ellipse that we have so the next thing that we're going to construct now should be an hyperbola hyperbola has an eccentricity of 3 over 2 right so that means the vertex will be three points away from what the focus when we did ellipse we measure two points away from the focus because it is 2 over 3 the hyperbola is three point since it's 3 over 2, it will be 3.3 from the focus. So let's count. This is 0, 1, 2, 3. So my new vertex here will be at this point here, V. V here. That will be my V2, my vertex 2. So on that line, I'm going to draw a vertical line this way. Right? And this is how we have it. So on that line, I want to take my meter rule, my compass. From the vertex two to the focus, I'll mark up and I'll mark down. You can see that. Then I'll draw a line that's going to pass through that point from P through the point I marked, which is here. I'll have this. You can see that. I'll come also and do the same thing. And I'll be having this from P passing through here. We'll be having this. I see that. That means my new point one now will now be this. Let's see. My new point one will now be this will now be point one. Let me do it where you can understand. It will now be point one, point two, point three, point four. Point five. That the key now. Since it's my new vertex, my new point will now be point one, point two, point three, point four, point five. So that will be focusing on. So if I come to my new one, I place it from um the from this point here, point one, to the top here. You can see that. I'll take it to the focus. I'll mark on that point one up and down 
I'll come to my new point two. I'll take it up. Right. I'll take it up here. I'll place on the focus. I'll mark on the point two up and down. Then three is already there. The line on the focus will still maintain the point. Point three is there already. Then the next one is I'll come to the next point three. Look it up. That's my new point four now. Right? I'll place it on the focus. I'll mark on that point. Hold on your point four up and down. Then I'll come to my new point four. That is new point four, right? Please on the focus I mark on four. Up and down. Sorry. Then I'll come to five. Take it up and that's five. Please on the focus. I'll mark on five. Up and down. So this is where you meet at all these points. You meet here. Here and here, and the next one is point two. I'm going to join them together. Is that again? This point and this point. So let's use my fresh curve to join those points together. So, with the help of this, in the vertex. those join this three first. And this and this So this is what we have here, right? So that is the focus that we have. So we have successfully drawn out the hyperbola, which is what we have here. Now the next one will be the parabola. Parabola have an eccentricity of what of one, meaning that my vertex is always in between the point of directrix and the what. The focus is always in between at the center of what the biatrix and the focus. So if from here to here is what is 40, that means 20 will be the center. I'm going to bisect it. Is that taken? So let me just use my rule and I'll get the center of it, which is 20. So what we have here is that the center of it is at this point here, half of it. So this will be my new vertex v3 so that is where i'm going to draw my line my vertical line right that's where i'll draw my vertical line so let me use my um rule and draw the vertical line at that point so from here let draw that up. Alright. That will be the point that there will be at this point here. So from here now, what I will do, I will take my compass and I am going to measure from this point of the vertex to F to what to the F here consider the focus and I'll mark on that line I mean it's the vertex from the center of V3 
I'll place it here, right? And I'm going to mark up and what and down. Those are the points I am going to be focusing on. That will be what at this point and at this point. So I'll now take my rule and draw a line to go through those points from P. Let's go this way and it will also go this way. Now what I'll be focusing on. Now since I'm taking half of this, so this is my new vertex. So I'll be using the main direct one here. This is new vertex. So I'll be using one, right? I'll use this my new this is my new one, my new two, then three, then what? Four, then five. Let me stop at five. So I'm taking two distance each. Is that taking now? So let me just extend this to this point here. So I'll take my compass. I'm taking a new one now. Is that taking? I'm going to place it at one to the point of this line. You can see that and I'll come on the focus. I mark on that line one up and what and down. I'll come to two. Take it up. There is a new two. I'm talking about this two here. Take it up to the line here. I come on the focus. I mark on two up and down. I come on three. Take it to the focus. I place on here. I mark on the line of three up and down. I come on four. Take it up here. Right. I come on the focus. I mark on the line of four, which is up and what and down. I come on five. I take it up. Place on the focus. I mark on the line of five, which will be here and here. That again. So if I do on three, then I need to mark on three. Let me I've done that of three. Right? So these are the points I am going to join together. Which are the points? This point. This point. Um this point. This point. Right? Then this point, this point, this point, this point, and this point. I'm going to connect them with my French curve. So with the help of my French curve, I will join these three points together. So we're taking V3 as my vertex of the parabola. Okay. You see that? So let's join this to this first. So I'll join the remaining one. Then this straight down to this. Now come here. I'll do the same thing. Get to this. Then the remaining one from here. Connect it. So that is what we have there. So this is the ellipse. This is the parabola. You see it is more concave. And this is what? The hyperbola. So if you have uh, found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Thanks for watching.